All right, I'm on the uh, back nine at the big top tournament. All right, I shot crap. So if you watch the front, qualification minus 12. So I shot minimum score and I actually shot just minimum score. And then on the opening round, I came out and I, I did some good things on the front. Picked up a couple shots and I turned around and dropped some. Dropped 17. <laughs> did not, I came out with a 24, but uh, so I've been erratic. I've been making shots and then turning around and dropping them. And I did the same thing on the front here. I picked up hole number one and then turned around and dropped hole number five. Not hole number five, but hole number six. Dropped that par five. And that's like, of the par fives, it's the easiest. You just have to do the drive. <laughs> and you can do the drive with a rock. I'm trying to be a little greedy on my spot out there with the extra mile, but you can take it with a 100% accurate club. So there's no excuse. And then ended up getting the Albion on hole number nine. So I at least came out with something positive, but I, I'm way behind. So let's get it done. Let's get it done. All right. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. The wind's helping us. APOC, power three. I mean, I gotta, I gotta go with the same thing I was going with before. The wind's blowing the same. I'm gonna do a power three ball. A power three ball, max top spin. A little less than max topspin with an APOC. I'm going to take a kingmaker to this party. I don't think it took all of the topspin. Three, three, about two rings, and I put that power back into it. Getting it perfect. Let's see if we can get that in the right direction. Oh, it's too far. Ooh, it's dick. Whew, that was a, that was way down there. <laughs> It gets longer, like the more you go to the right, if you come around those trees, the fairway gets longer, so you can hit, or the rough is deeper. But if you come in that hot, and you're just a little bit to the left, you'll catch this one right here and end up in the back behind those trees. So, I mean, that was like, uh, that was right where I really wanted to hit, but it's scary as hell to watch it. <laughs> because it looks like it's got that image like it's gonna fail. All right. Now let's finish this round off and do the same thing on every hole. just come out and execute on every hole and pick up a shot every one of these holes in this in this course is it's possible to pick up a shot there's a lot of people out there that don't think that there's an actual alvey on hole number nine but if you have a nirvana in your bag even with the nirvana and a three power ball and a four power ball wouldn't be wouldn't be bad if you've got a that rough iron and you can hit the ball out into the rough go back and watch the front nine on this and my opponent that came out there did that they shot way in the hell out into the rough and they had a nirvana shot for alby if that's the best that you can get done out there you got at least you got a shot at alby no dice just a bit outside. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. Let's go get a hole in one right here. It's 1.1 per ring. Let me get my trusty <laughs> dusty calculator out. I'm doing 1.1 per ring. Whatever the wind is divided by 1.1. Taking a grizzly and a katana. Do the wind first. 
All right. All right. We finally got an opponent. Here we go. Hopefully I go first. My opponent goes first. When the game first came out, people really bitched about going first. Like, wow, it's bullshit that I have to go first or that my that I went first in the shootout and then my opponent could just match my spin because nobody had ball guide because all the freaking clubs were brand new. And in some respects, they were right, but I, it didn't really make any difference to me. I always like going first. I always like going out there and trying to put the pressure on my opponent. <laughs> And the adjustments are only part of the deal. If you don't make a great wind adjustment, it doesn't matter what adjustments you use. Because, man, my opponent is on the green. It's scary on this hole when it's coming in with any kind of speed, like whether it's going to stop or if it's going to hit one of those spots. Ten and a half backspin. Two point four, one point one. So it's two rings and just a little. That's two rings and a little. Hitting it perfect. All right, let's see how close we can get. Need to make an adjustment. I made several hole in ones on that hole this week, but it's been like chasing it around. Like I go back and I do exactly what I did on the hole in one, and it doesn't go in. And then I make a slight adjustment, and then bam, it got, went in the hole. So I stick with that one, and then it's bam, it's off again. All right, we got a serious chance on this part five. Let's not dick around this time. With the APOC. Here we go. I think the way the wind's blowing on this, you can get away with a Titan. Well, we use the Kingmaker. Kingmaker will help us. We may need access to side spin, so it's not a bad deal. And we can pick up some wind. Which won't help us as much on the drive. Titan, the King. Let's bring out our number one bag. Let's buy one of those. Five top spin. Okay, 3.5, that's about two rings. I'm going to move it a ring back into the fairway. Hit a one ring great to the left. Which puts me more out into the fairway, but uh, I picked up a little bit of extra distance there. So I'm a little off of where I wanted to hit, but uh, pretty damn close. I went right past a little bit to the right of me. See if my opponent can get down there. I 
don't see as many people do it anymore. I think people have gotten smart enough to understand that there's another place they can use up here, but people that'll do max overpower shots down into that, into that, like my opponent. And if you're using a lower power ball, you're actually better off using a big topper and hitting back up behind and bouncing it out. You won't get quite as much distance. But you'll get enough distance to get up there with like a big dog or a cataclysm. Even a low level. You're just looking for the distance. Okay, see what kind of window I have. I got plenty of room. Four, so I'm doing two seven. There's two five. There's two seven. Oh, oh! And great to the left. But if you're going to hit it one way or the other, and it still have a shot, great to the left is better than great to the right. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's twice this week I've left it right on the edge of that cup. I've made it once and I've, I've been right there twice. Just a little bit shy. The deal is, is that it's easy to roll off. Like if you look at my ball guide, how I set that up, you're, you'll probably go, well, dude, your ball guide wasn't all the way to the cup. If you run your ball guide all the way to the cup, it'll run past the cup. Fast enough that if you were, weren't on track to hit the flagpole, it'll probably just bounce over the hole and then roll down that hill and that putt from down there sucks. It's down over here in this back corner and it blows. So it releases when it comes up to the cup and I'm trying to anticipate that release. That's why my ball guy doesn't run all the way to the cup. Got it just a little wrong. <laughs> just a bit outside. My opponent's got a tough ass putt. There's some tough putts on this on this course. On a lot of these greens, if you're not in the right spot, there's some tough putts because there's so much movement on the course. I do think it's BS that you can't always make the cup. Because with a regular putter, you can make you can make the cup. I use my putter into trees and it hit it long ways. All right. Hole number 13, the par three, the mid par three, I'm using a sniper and a katana. I'm doing just 1.2 per ring. It's three something. See if my opponent can get up there with a sniper doing the backspin. Mm -hmm. I've done this shot a bunch of times. You can do this with a guardian too and try and stick it up there by it. <clears throat> What's up, puppies? Mm -hmm. See if my opponent can get in the hole. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if they got it set up. If so, you can go back and watch theirs and see how they set it up. If that's the shot you're taking. See what you can learn from their uh, shot setup. That's the cool thing about recording your own video. I want to be way up high. I'm going to take Katana. Going right at the cup. So it's 3.8 divided by 1.2. It's 3.16 rings. Getting it perfect. Getting the hole. That might be in. 
That might be. Oh, oh, just a little bit of an under pull. Just a little bit of an under pull. Puppy dogs, puppy dogs, puppy dogs. Playing with my little puppy Itsy Bitsy while I'm waiting for my turn. In the hole. All right, all right, all right. I'm giving it, I am at least on track. I'm giving myself good looks at them. It's disappointing when you hit perfect and you don't make those shots. You need to make every time you hit perfect, you need to make the shot. And so, like I don't hit perfect every time, so like when I hit perfect, I expect that sucker to go in the hole. All right, extra mile. Titan. I'm gonna play with a Titan. Just because I have some. I don't think I have any Kingmakers. I'm gonna play with a Titan. I don't I don't mind a Titan. Max one and a half top spin. The plus thirteen. Four point two, that's two rings. No overpower. Hit it one ring great to the right. And this bounce should be fine. That is way down there. That's farther than I wanted to get, but I'm not in the sand. I've been shooting for like 317. I started the week off, I hit one that was at 323 and it wasn't bad but there's a little flat right before that that's at like 315, 317. And so I was hitting to that spot. But on the front nine, I was long and ended up in the sand. And here I was long. So maybe pull out a little bit more wind for a full tailspin or a little less topspin. Probably take out a little more top spin. Knock it down to like one and a quarter or one. All right. All right. Doing 1.1 1 .1 times 2.5 equals divided by 1.6. It's 1.72 rings. I am at minimum club. One and a quarter rings. One and a quarter. I need to hit it perfect. I hit it perfect, it goes in the hole. Hitting it perfect, it's in the hole. In the hole. Here's the video. Woo! In the hole. <clears throat> That's what I'm talking about. Picking one up. Finally. Now I need to pick up all the rest of these holes. And hole number six, I haven't been really trying to pick up. I've been just dinking around on. Maybe I'll get lucky and we'll get a hole in one on or uh, Albi on hole number five. It would be awesome to see. But this time I got to focus a little more on the drive because last time I ended up in the sand and I actually dropped a shot on that hole. So it can't allow that to happen. Close. But no cigar. And look at that. I didn't win a chest because I didn't go clear off chests. 
kind of Ricky move was that? I must be I must be all full. And I had a I had a spot that I could have had to open. Ah, oh, the life and time of a rookie. Big top. Hole number 15. What is hole number 15? This par five. All right. Playing it with an extra mile and a kingmaker. But I'm going to play it with a titan. I think my chances are just as good with a titan. I don't have the side spin. The three side spin would be better. I could bring a katana. You can get over there and do the shot with a katana. But with the kingmaker, you can get deeper into the hole. Let's try not to do the uh, crappy shot that I did last time. Let's try not to do that. Let's see if my opponent can get out there where they want to get. They're using a katana. You can, like I said, you can very easily use a katana here. And maybe I will use a katana. I'd rather have the three side spin on the second shot than Let's make sure I get in the right spot. Three three. I'm gonna do a three six pull. There's two. There's three three. So we got a three six pull. Getting it perfect. See if we can end up in the right spot this time. We need to end up in the right spot because I brought a power two or two ball instead of a power three. So that's the spot. I want to be right there along that shadow line. That gives me the shortest distance around these trees to do a backspin shot to the cup. That must be a max backspin side spin curl shot. There's a spot out there somewhere. If you put maximum side spin backspin curl onto your club. There's a spot somewhere out there that if you set it up in that spot and take out the wind, it will go in. But it's got to be a small spot and there's a whole bunch of spots out there. <laughs> this right here, in my opinion, is the, probably the best way to go for Alvi here. But it is the like your, where I think you could really work it out. But you got to hit perfect all the time. And I'm not sure that I like how they set that shot up. I don't, were they ever like looking fully at the cut before they started moving it? And they hit it two rings great to the left. That's there's they still got a recovery shot from right there, but that could have been no bueno. No bueno. All right. Maximum. And then way up here. I'm gonna try and be a little lower. That puts me three rings off on the red line up here at the top. Let's take the wind out. There's one, two, three, four. Max curl. Hitting it perfect. <clears throat> Needed to go more to the right. But the farther you go to the right with that ball, it, you're going more up the hill. And so it might continue to throw you down. You need more backspin. I should have I should have brought my number four bag. It has a guardian in it just for this hole. It has an extra mile and a guardian. And I kept forgetting to bring it this week and bring in that sniper. So I actually have more practice with the sniper than I do with the freaking guardian. <laughs> I should have put the guardian in my main bag. So I would have had to switch. See if my opponent can get in the hole. 
All right. I didn't have any success on that hole this week, but I really wasn't actually trying to have any success on that hole this week. All I was trying to do on this hole this week was just go out there and get an eagle and go, go the hell home. And I only failed once. <laughs> All right. The mid one is done. Are we in the last three whole set? Okay, I'm going to pick some stuff up here. So I should be on hole number 16. So we got a par 4, a par 3, and a par 5. And all three of these holes, I've been playing really well on these three holes. I've hit the eagle, the hole 1, and the albi. And I hit the Albi on the front to at least salvage my front. So I mean, I've got I I've got a killer three-hole set here. So hold on one second. All right, I gotta take a break. Got three holes left. All right, let's pick one up on all three. So if I just go out there and shot the minnow and score, we're looking at 27, and I need to pick up all three. So that's where I'm at. Hole number 16 is par four. I'm taking an APOC. Let's go. Let's let's take these last three a little more serious here. Hole number seven is par four. All right, let's see which way the wind's blowing. Helping us out. I think I can get this done with a power three ball. I know I can get it done with a power four. If I took a power four, I think with that kind of wind, I need at least a couple sides, man. I'm gonna take this ball right here. And I'm gonna take this bag right there and let's roll. All right, let's go get an eagle on this hole. I've I've hit the eagle on this hole maybe twice this week. And the rest of the times I've been off, but I've had shots. But where I've actually been in the spot, I made I was on and actually was able to make a putt. I wasn't very far up the hill. I was a little shy halfway. I was able to get the putt in. And I've made it once from out in front. I have had the shot from out in front twice, and I missed it once. So even if you get up there, you still get there. You still got work to get done. And that wind is definitely helping us. I got a one wind ball. I think mine's two. And they're going to end up, if they end up clipping the fairway right there, they should be in excellent position. Oh, they got to get out from behind those trees. I thought they were a little farther out and they just roll across the fairway and you got a straight up shot. Okay, I'm like easily over there, like half a backspin. Or two, I'm gonna take out three. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if I can just end up out there in front. Not enough curl to get me around the trees. I tried to set that shot up earlier in the week with max curl. And I ended up having to go like way to the left. So I was trying to get away with like mid curl. Not enough. Not enough. Need to be like three quarters. And I would have been right out in front. That, that's the speed that I was looking for trying to come up in front where you don't end up on the green. End up right off. I still got a great shot from here. 
it, this shot will be all about perfect. If I hit this shot perfect and it doesn't go in, I'm going to be really upset about it. Because, like, these are the shots where, like, all you have to do is hit it perfect and you're in the cup. It didn't look like they, uh, <laughs> it didn't look like they clipped the trees, which is good. Right, let's see what kind of shot I got from here. Okay, from this distance. Like literally, we're talking about half a cup. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Woo! That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Picking up the first of the three. Now, this, this par three, I love this par three. And this par three is like a 50-50 deal for me. I mean, I've made a lot of hole-in-ones on here, but it's not one of those ones that I go to and I always feel like I'm going to get a hole-in-one. It's like I'm always right there, bam, it goes in the hole. I'm always right there, bam, it goes in the hole. And so it makes it feel like you're like maybe one in three, one in four times it goes in the hole. Let me think really hard about what I'm doing here. All right, I'm ready to play it. Hole number eight. Let's get to hole number eight. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. The wind's blowing with us, so it's going good. I need a grizzly and a quasar. Grizzly and a quasar. Uh, it seems like I've I've taken this shot before you get on this hole. I've obviously you've taken the shot before in one on one with a Titan or some other clubs and I'm balls and I'm not sure because I end up coming to this this hole and may forget to change the ball and go to a lower lower power ball. It seems like I've made a lot of shots here with a Titan. But I'm taking a quasar today. And I'm doing three and three quarter backspin with one and some right hand side spin at 30% and going straight to the cup. One per ring. Hitting it perfect. See if my opponent can get in the hole. And we get a double hole in one action here. A little to the left. I over pulled it. Alright, I don't need that ball. I can take a quasar. Getting up into this area. Three and three quarter backspin. With one and a little. Now it's three and a quarter. And right at it. Times 4.7 equals 6.11 rings. There's five, six, one, one. Oh, and I hit a one ring great to the left. Arr! And it might have been a little short if it had been on, right on track. That would have been close. I think it would have been a little short. That would have been a heartbreaker. I've done that on several, the par five, hole number three. I think I did that for sure on this side. And at least at least a couple more times during the tournament up to this point. At least once. 57 times. I caught a fish and it was this big. That is disappointing. That means I have to repeat the alvey on the front that I got on the front on hole number nine. And see if I can back it up with another Albi. Oh, 
I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to end this off with an Albie. I don't think I've ever ended the tournament off with an Albie before. I've ended with an Eagle, and that Eagle won me the tournament, but I don't think I've ever ended with an Albie. I don't think an Albie will help me win, but I it would be nice to end with an Albie. Exit. Let's see where we're at. All right. We are up towards the top. So, like, third place. Anything above what I can see right there on the screen, we're in banner hunt. So, like, I'm obviously going to be better than the 26th that's in fourth. So, in worst case scenario, I'll be in fourth. I could be, I could be if I go out there and get the eagle in the banner hunt. If I get an Albi, what would that give me? A 29? 29 might be enough, but I don't have the tiebreaker. So if I only shoot a 28, I'm going to end up not getting a not getting a better banner because I'll get caught up in tiebreakers. All right, we got a shot at a banner here. Let's see if we can make it. All right, I need the Albi. An Albi might actually give me a give me a win. I mean, I don't know who's up at the top, but that, it's it's possible. A 29 is at least in the conversation. Now let's think about what I want to use. Okay, so I know I'm going to use that bag. And I know I'm going to use this open ball. Because I want the four side spin. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. The wind was blowing favorably. I'm going to win this hole, so I need to open up a chest. That way I can... I've already lost one, but I'm going to win. I'm going to get an Albi right here and win this hole. Here we go. And we do not have as good a wind as we had on the front, but we still have, well, we can still make it with that ball. I'm doing a straight up adjustment on the drive. But I want to try and not put myself in the rough. I want to make it so that I'm a couple rings out. There's a spot you can see when you're looking at this mound right here. You can see that there's a kind of a ring around it. Where it's on the downhill on the outside. Where it rolls down into that rough. And you're trying to just catch the top of that so that it throws you more to the right. But you don't want to be too far down on it because then it'll like dig you into the sand. You see it right there. So my opponent hit on the left-hand side of that, so their ball had more of a straight trajectory. We want to hit right to the right of the apex, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. So you can see, like, right here where it bends over, it be about a ring. And... Oh, I want to put all of it. Couple of rings, two nine. It's one point five per ring. Right across the red line. Max curl and a sliver of overpower. Hitting it perfect. All right, let's see if I can hit that spot and get some right hand movement. And get way down in there into my grizzly range. All right, I got a killer shot from here. And I am going to be in my grizzly. And I'm doing a 10% adjustment to the cup. Let's see if we can get this in the hole. My opponent's got a pretty good shot from here. This is why, even with a level 8 Razor, if you got a level 8 Razor, depending on where you've been playing, I suppose, I mean, your Nirvana is a higher level and it's got more distance. When a Razor gets maxed out, I think it at level 8, it does have the same kind of distance as a Nirvana, but I don't think it has the top spin. There's something, uh, like, distance-wise, you want your Ref Iron to be able to save you far away. And... Okay, there's Max. 
about mid club. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. Oh, yeah, I slightly over pulled it or slightly under pulled it. The wind still pushed me off. I did a 10% adjustment on it, but I'm, I don't think we've come into that hole all week with like do headwind. So like in do headwind, I probably needed to do a plus 20. But every place else, it seemed like I needed to do a plus 10. And I've been, I've been super close and then started doing the plus 10 and then made a couple of albies on this hole. That's disappointing, but I had a great shot at it right there. So I can at least end the tournament knowing that, hey, I had a shot at Albie, which would have gave me a 29, and we'll see where I end up with a 28. My tiebreakers are so shitty that the best that I can really hope for is third. But I may just supplant the guy at fourth. The people up above may have higher than 28. So we'll see. Let's get, keep our fingers crossed. We may get a banner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. How many people have finished this round? I mean, we're pretty late. We only got an hour and eight minutes. I can't believe that. That's that's amazing to me. Still looking. I got three holes left. So we're down into the last 10 people that haven't played and only those three aren't gonna get it in. I'm not sure if these people are on track. It doesn't look like it. Like you'd need to be, if you were at, at you'd need to be minus 14, 15 at nine, not 14. <laughs> so it doesn't look like anybody can get up there. Wow. Amazing. We'll have to see if that holds. That was just going out there and and I had a shitty front. I dropped hole number six. I mean, this was brutal. Coming back, having picked one up at the beginning and then dropping that and then picking up that Albi, at least coming out of the front on a positive note. And in the back, getting it done on one again. Picking up the eagle on the par five. Picking up the eagle on the par five. Getting the par four. Getting a hole in one. Was that a hole in one? Yeah, a hole. One of those. Par. What was that? Hole number five. Par four, par four. So I got two eagles on the par fours. Picking up those two mid par fours. Not a bad round. I, I can't believe that a 28, I'm, I'm just flabbergasted i thought a 28 would be caught up in tiebreakers and that you'd have to be if you wanted to be a standalone winner you had to have a 29 or better but like to think that you had any shot at it you probably needed to shoot a 30 we'll have to see i'll i'll stay up i'll stay up for another hour and a half and we'll see if i want a banner <laughs> thanks for watching